KJ. Welcome to KJ Paints. I am doing something a little bit fun today. So I cut, oops, cut this guy out from hardboard um, using a skill saw, I want to say it was. Um, and uh, so I'm going to do two pours. And what I have here is a turtle. Head and flippers are here. Shell pieces are here. So I'm going to do two pours, one that's going to be largely dark greens and browns, one that's going to be light greens and blues and yellow. Um, and then when I put it all together, I think it'll be pretty special looking. So now I'm going to just do a dirty pour and I'm going to drizzle over all of the pieces. I think I have enough paint. Let's start with this one. I'm kind of nervous. I've been <laughs> working on this for a while with all the cutting and Planning the design and Gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Okay, have to do a painting with those colors. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Whoa! <laughs> this is the second time that brilliant yellow from Artist Loft has, I think it's the yellow, it seems to be the yellow, has made the cells that none of the other colors seem to uh, have such a strong effect. that their color schemes are gonna go together. I'm just popping air bubbles here. I'm not worried about cells. Although, apparently, <laughs> I don't need to worry. You gotta be careful when you're on a plastic mat. It melts a little bit. Wow, you guys, oh my gosh. Wow, didn't I put dark green in this? I'm sure that I did. Didn't I? Maybe I didn't. Maybe I forgot to. <laughs> I meant to, but I guess I didn't really need it because the yellow by itself is just against the blue. Wow, okay. 
leave these to dry. And then uh, we'll bring you back for putting them together. We have, I think, a plan that's going to work out really well for that. So, um, we shall Hey see. there. I decided at the last minute to, um, I wanted to paint the backs because I wanted to have a bit more of a finished look. So I just am dabbing on some phthalo green and burnt umber um, with a sponge, just very light coat, so that it has just a nice solid background. Not that it really matters, it'll be against the wall. Anyway. Hi guys, so here I am working on the next step in the project. So um, I decided to use these little nails. They are called brad nails and they're only about half inch long and they're as small as I could find them. And so what I'm doing is I'm drilling a hole in each side and using the nail with super glue to attach them. So obviously one side of the nail is bigger than the other side. So I'm using two different drill bits. I've got a 1 16th and a 5 64ths, 5 64ths. So what I'm doing is I'm lining up the shell pieces where I want them and using just a, um, uh, water, what's it called? Washable, <laughs> washable marker to draw the lines where I want the um, holes to be. And then I'm just drilling in, in the angle that I've drawn, drawn the line at as close as I can. Nice thing about this design is that it doesn't have to be perfect, but um, I do want it to have a relatively even spacing. So what I'm doing is just drilling a little bit and then checking and then drilling a little bit more and then checking. So it is a long process. I won't show you the whole thing. I just want to kind of go over what I'm doing. So I draw drill a big hole on one side and a smaller hole on one side, and then I put a teeny tiny dab of super glue and then the nail inside. And I'm hoping that will hold um, if with the number of nails I'll be using, um, I'm hoping that it will hold. And then um, the super glue, <laughs> hopefully the super glue is strong enough. So anyways, I'm gonna get to doing that and or finishing that and um, then I'll bring you back for hopefully the final product. Hey guys, here is the finished product and I think it came out so amazing. I love the different color palettes from the shell to the uh, flippers and head. So it just pops. I love it. I'm going to take you on a little closer so you can see some of the detail here. All the copper in the shell it has quite a bit of a shimmer to it. And you can see all of the, all of the nails that I put in to Make sure that it was nice and sturdy. And then you can see just how much this yellow pops in the um, in the flippers and the in the head, especially this flipper. Oh. And the blue just has this beautiful shimmer to it. Love the head. Love the head. Amazing. Amazing. It came out so good. I'm gonna throw a coat of varnish on it and then hopefully you can get it hung up. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you did, feel free to check out my other videos and subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Thanks, bye.